Please. All right, class, today we'll discuss the differences in aerobic versus anaerobic respiration, which revolves around the use of glucose and the production of lactic acid and ATP. You know that's not what I do here. Aerobic versus anaerobic, straight up. If you're really into biology and chemistry, go for it. But here we're focused on health and keeping things simple. I'll do my best. Aerobic and anaerobic are two different ways our body can provide energy while we are active. Let's look at each in terms of exercise and how they are fueled. Aerobic literally means with oxygen. If you're familiar with cardiovascular endurance activities, then you know some aerobic activities. Things like running, swimming, or cycling. Activity that you can sustain or do for an extended amount of time. With aerobic activities, oxygen is the main source of energy. You breathe faster and deeper than normal, so your blood is supplied with more oxygen, and your heart rate increases, which increases blood flow to the working muscles and then back to your lungs. That's the simplest way I can describe aerobic activity. Sustained activity with oxygen. Any guess what anaerobic means? Anaerobic literally means without oxygen. If aerobic is like cardiovascular endurance, anaerobic is more comparable to muscular strength. Think quick bursts, weightlifting, sprinting, jumping, because anaerobic activity is high intensity for a short duration, oxygen is not able to provide the energy that your body needs. It's not that slow chugging cycle of a steam engine or a train like aerobic. Instead, anaerobic activity receives stored energy from glucose or sugar. Have you ever lifted something really heavy and your muscles started to burn? That feeling is caused by lactic acid. Yeah. I'll just drop that one science term. Lactic acid shows up and causes our muscles to burn as a byproduct of using that stored energy during anaerobic activity. So that's the simplest ways I can compare aerobic versus anaerobic. So what do you do with this information? It's good to know, it can be useful, but honestly, in my opinion, you don't do much with it. There's been debates about whether aerobic or anaerobic will burn more fat or is the type of activity to do to lose weight, but I don't think there's like a really clear consensus in the research, so I'm not going to make any claims. Instead, maybe just focus on doing what you know is good for you. In other words, do both. Because spoiler, there's countless activities that are going to blur the lines between aerobic and anaerobic and will use both energy systems. So while it's nice to know where your body gets its energy from when you're jogging versus heavy weightlifting, at the end of the day, I'm going to my default statement. Let me get that broken record alert. Strive for variety and balance in your physical activities. Let me know what else I can talk about. Keep things straight up. You know what, or not. Just dive deep into the research. Get, get into those science terms. Do what you want. Peace.